Hello, today I'm doing a review and I'm going to cook with this new saute pan that I received from Wax and & Wear. And it is the stone green pan. It comes with this beautiful glass lid with a rubber trim. And it has this kind of cool stone pattern in it. It is a non-stick pan. And I've already washed it with just some warm soapy water. And before I use any pan ever after I've washed it, I um, give it a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to uh, make sure that I rub that around before I use it for the very first time and it's a good idea to do that with all of your pots and pans. Um, it's got a very nice comfortable rubber grip and this is the bottom if you can see it's got sort of this metal texture to it um, but this is going to be fun to try out. It's four and a half quarts so it can hold a lot of food and I will often do one pot meals, which is what I'm going to do today. In honor of the Olympics, I'm going to do a Brazilian, I'm sure I'm going to butcher the word, but boboa de boboa de camarão, which is typically a dish made with vegetables like peppers, tomatoes, cilantro, and yucca root. And this is a yucca root, which I've actually never cooked with before. So I'm going to cut that up and then we'll just get sauteing. So I have chopped up my yucca root and I gotta be honest, I tasted it and it tastes like um, a very flavorless, hard, weird root vegetable, but um, I have high hopes for this. This is what they do eat in Brazil and we are going to be authentic and I think that it's got great potential. It is very soft in the center, so I think after we cook it down, it says to cook it for 50 minutes. So I'm going to heat my wax and wear pan up at a medium heat. You never want to overheat a nonstick pan. It's just um, not good for it. If you want to maintain it, just do a nice low to medium heat, which is perfect because I'm just going to be simmering this. Um, so I put in three cups of vegetable broth. I'm going to put in my yucca and I'm going to stir it with a plastic spatula for right now because you don't want to use metal on a nonstick pan as well. So I'm just gonna leave this on a high heat and cover it. And we'll come back in about 50 minutes. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna chop my other vegetables. Typically this dish does have shrimp in it, but I did not get shrimp today, so I'm gonna make a vegetarian version. And later we will serve this over rice. Okay, so I've been simmering this yucca root in my wax and wear saute pan for about 50 minutes. And the lid down over here. And as you can see, most of the moisture has been absorbed and it's soft now and actually has a texture kind of, of like a crumbly potato. So my next move is to turn off the heat. And then what I'm going to do is actually take this, I'm going to put it into a food processor really quickly, and then I'm going to let it sit in there. And while that's um, cooling down a little bit as mixed up in the food processor, kind of like a, a gum base almost, I am going to do my vegetables in the same pan. So stay tuned. Okay, I've blended up my yucca root and it actually looks like a yummy mashed potatoes. So again, that's cooling over there to the side. And I'm gonna start my vegetables. I just put a little bit of olive oil into my wax and wear saute pan. And I'm gonna put the onions in it and I'm going to cook these down for a little bit and then I'm going to add red pepper and then after that I'll add in tomato and then we'll put that yucca root back in um, and then um, I'll show you that when we're at that point. Okay so my onions, red pepper, and green pepper have been sauteing for about seven minutes now and everything looks pretty good. I'm checking it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in my fresh tomato spread that around and then I'm also adding a can of coconut milk. So spread that around as well and then I'm going to cover it again and let it cook down for about another five minutes. So we'll check back in. Okay so this has been sauteing for another five minutes and it's definitely cooking down and it smells absolutely amazing. And this is when I'm going to start to add back in that taro, I'm sorry, not taro root, that yucca root. Get my roots confused. So it's very thick, as you can see, like a mashed potato. And 
I did say that it was flavorless before, but I totally take that back because it actually has a lot of yummy, rich, almost like a buttery potato taste to it. So I guess cooking it down in that vegetable broth just transformed it into something pretty magical. So now I'm especially excited about what it's gonna turn into. So this is gonna thicken up my stew and I'm gonna start to layer it with other flavors and spices once I get this in. I might leave a little on the side so I can snack on it because it is actually really delicious. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna add in about a cup of cilantro and some diced garlic. Again, the smells that are coming off, the peppers, the tomatoes, the onion, the cilantro, coconut milk, it is yummy smelling. Um, I should be adding in red pepper paste, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna use just crushed red peppers. And I do like heat, so I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper to it. And just a smidge of smoked paprika. And again, I like to add flavors slowly as I go. I don't want to ever over season something because it's just too hard to take it back afterwards. Um, I am going to add just a little bit of salt. And I'm going to mix this in, get that yucca root kind of dispersed around the liquid. And then I'm going to turn down my heat even more. So I really just want this to do a slow saute now. And the wax and Okay, so it's been simmering for quite some time now, and it looks done. I like the seasoning right now, and I might adjust it right before I serve it later, but otherwise it's perfect. It definitely tastes like fresh vegetables and all of my spices with the cilantro and the coconut. It is all really good. This would be great if I had sautéed shrimp. I could mix it in with it last minute, but it's a great base, and now I'm going to make rice, and I'm going to serve that for dinner. So super excited for the Olympics and go USA. And I hope that everybody and all the Olympians have a safe and happy, fun experience. Have a good one.